Lane and I'm a naturalist here at Rondeau Provincial Park. Today I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite species, the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies are often spotted flying around Rondeau Provincial Park. These butterflies are one of the most familiar and well-known butterflies around the world. Their distinctive orange and black bodies with white spots are easily recognizable. The earliest European settlers of Canada and the US were so impressed by the sight of such a magnificent butterfly that they called them King Billies, or monarchs, after William of Orange, a well-loved Dutch prince who became King of England in 1689. Monarch caterpillars lay their pale yellow or ivory eggs singly, generally on the upper leaves of milkweed plants. The emerging caterpillars have alternating bands of yellow and white on a black background. The caterpillars feed only on milkweed plants that have well-documented toxic substances that are retained in the body and wings throughout the adult butterfly stage. In only 10 to 14 days, depending on temperature, the caterpillar will grow to more than 3,000 times its hatching weight. After it finishes growing, it leaves its host plant and crawls around to locate a place where it can pupate. When it does, it spins a slip pad attached to a branch and hangs upside down in a characteristic J shape. Its chrysalis is green with metallic gold spots and lasts from 9 to 15 days after which it darkens before becoming translucent a few hours before the butterfly is ready to emerge. When the butterfly emerges, it will have its distinctive coloring that allows them to warn predators of the toxic compounds found in their bodies while flying in plain sight. In late August and early September, the monarch butterflies start their southward migration down to Mexico, a place they've never been to before. This one migrating generation of monarchs lives five to seven times longer than the others and overwinters almost exclusively in the transverse new volcanic range, which includes some of the highest peaks in Mexico. Overwintering roosts begin to break up in late February and early March. Monarchs have been in the roost for four to five months now, and for much of that time have not moved at all other than to jockey for position among the crowded branches. During this time, monarchs begin to look for mates, and essentially all of the females mate in the days and weeks leading up to the dissolution of the colonies. Monarchs tend to mate quite aggressively. The males are larger than the females, and the males use their size and mass advantage to aggressively attack and subdue female monarchs, grappling in the air and falling to the ground where they attempt to mate. Following the gradual availability of milkweed as spring advances, the monarchs migrate in leapfrog fashion with each successive generation surpassing the next. During the summer, there will be two to three more generations, each lasting for up to two months. The last generation will be the ones who will migrate back down to Mexico and the cycle starts all over again. Get passionate, get involved, and enjoy the monarch butterfly for a minute longer next time you see one.